What's up YouTube? I'm here today to give y'all a little short video about my advice and my thoughts on relationship in the military. So I know that is a loaded topic and um, I did a poll a few, a few weeks ago asking what y'all wanted to see and that was the main thing I saw. So here I am doing it. Got some notes here. Always, always got to take good notes because I be forgetting like my last thought like it's it's actually in like like a big ass issue i just i just be forgetting shit so so i write everything down all right relationships in the military should you do you want to is it viable does it work we're gonna talk about all that today so i just forgot what i was talking about <laughs> let's see um, as a young PFC, I haven't really had had the chance to like ex experience everything. I haven't been on a deployment yet. Haven't haven't really lived lived my full career yet. So um, I can only tell you what what I know and what I have what I have experienced, and and also what like you know older people people that has like been in longer told, told me to worry about. So every single time this, this topic comes up, it's always don't do it. Don't date military females cause they're crazy. They're wild. You know, you could get in trouble. Cause like that actually makes, makes sense. Cause if you date a military female, they, they know exactly how to like mess you up. So um I was always told to be to be careful there because like you know they could go to your chain of command, they could uh, re uh request mass doing all like sorts so sorts of shit if you fuck up. But my my rebuttal I guess to that is that they wouldn't have to do that if you don't give them a reason to do that. You feel me? Like, so like, let's say that you you are a good stand-up dude. You don't, you shouldn't have to worry about like getting in trouble with, with a female because what kind of trouble are you, are you gonna get into? Like rape? Like nah, <laughs> like we don't do that. Well, I, at least I don't do that. <laughs> um, what I have noticed is that a lot of military guys are kind of like, what's the proper word? Um, I wouldn't, I would not want my daughter to date a military guy. I'll just like say that for, first and foremost, you know, just like great, great brothers and sisters, great, great people. But um, I would not trust trust that because they because you know like let let's just face it marines are kind of wild so yeah that's all i'm gonna i'm gonna say also one thing that i've seen a lot is people getting married for that uh, uh b b a h money which is great money yeah but um i don't think just an extra bump in pay is a good reason to get married especially if you're my age I am uh, 20, if you didn't know. Uh, people are like getting married left and right. I'm like, dog, like, just like you haven't even lived life yet. You know, I, I sound I, I sound like my dad right now, but honestly, just like we are young, young people. Most, well, most of us are young people. And like to get married so, so soon to like limit your options and to like, and to like freaking not be able to find out who like you really are because like it takes a lot of time it, it takes time to find out who like you are so if you if you want to rush and get married you can yeah but then just just know that you might be missing out on things and like it's hard it is it is it is very hard because um you're you are still like you know learning growing and stuff and um you just don't 
you just don't have that experience that you need to like really understand what it means to like take care of someone else you know and then you are so used to like taking care of like yourself but taking care of another person that's a whole different feel and a lot of young young people they're they're just lost in the sauce you know as soon as like as soon as issues like arise i guess they just sort of crumble un under that pressure and then like they're like oh i don't want to be married married no more well like you can't just quit you know just like what's the point of getting married if you if you are going to end up hating that person in in like the next year or two also you have to make sure that your partner under understands fully what it means to for you to be in the uh military because like let's say you date a civilian right they're not really gonna under understand what what you are like going through it's hard to like explain it so like when i'm talking to my family i don't tell them every single thing that like i've like been through because then if if i did they'll be like oh, oh my god oh, my son oh no no you know you know they'll be just like like tripping balls so um if you want to share share your life with someone else you are gonna have to make sure that that communication is key and that brings me to my next point communication when you're in in the military it is hard i'm not gonna care with you it is very hard because like you know we work long long hours we're out on uh depths deployments doing different things right so like you know communication isn't always going to be as easy as it is when like you know when you're not in so you have to let your partner know and actually trust trust your partner which is hard because like you know if you don't hear hear from someone in like nine nine months of course like your mind's gonna start to like trip you're 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 gonna get jealous um you know and then that just causes more more issues so what, what i would recommend for that is to find either find find you a partner that that is like down that you trust that you um you don't always have to have the best c c communication but you know that like your partner is solid even when you're not there um because like the last thing a a military member wants is to be worrying about someone else when you're supposed to be doing your your job because then that could get people killed uh we don't want that hmm. i've been talking a lot i ain't talking for like so long <laughs> what else let's see So like what I've seen people do is like either either they like have a partner and then like they're and then they're out on a deployment and then like their partner cheat cheats on them, which is sad. And then they just lose lose all, all hope, get all sad and shit. And then then it's like downhill from there. So what I would recommend is to really just like try not to get married i i know coming from me i'm i'm like single you know so like i don't like really really have that issue but um i don't see see myself getting married while i'm in in the military unless something freaking like crazy like you know like i'm like oh my god i fucking love love this person even if so, I'll be very, very reserved. You know, I'll be just like, man, can this people can can this person really handle like that military lifestyle and like you know handle me being being gone for a extended amount of time? And then if I have a single doubt, I'll just I'll just like let them know straight up, hey. I don't think it's gonna work. Bam. Simple as that. 
you know, yeah, sure, I like might be sad, sad for like a week, but at least I I know that I'm that I'm doing what's better for me and and you by not wasting our time. And uh, you know, I'll be get, getting that experience for for the next chapter in like my life. So I don't know if like any any of that makes sense. Please like comment down down below to like tell me if if like what I'm saying actually makes sense. If you're in, tell me how how your relationship works and like you know I, I would just love love to know that know that insight. Alright, so this is the end of the video. Thank y'all for, for watching. If you watch all, all the way through, like, subscribe, follow me on my uh, social social medias if you like feel like it. I can't force you to do anything you don't want to do. Um, with that said, enjoy some uh, photos and videos of me on this on this motor flight I did last week. So, yeah, thank y'all a lot. Um, let me know. Excuse me. Let me know what you want to see next. Peace.